You guys, this is one single shoe from an American Girl doll. And I sold it. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, I've got 27 bread and butter bolos coming your way. Items that I sold on eBay for $35 or less. Items that I sourced super cheap. I'm gonna tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. So let's get started. If you guys are looking to make a little extra money, um, I'm telling you being a reseller is the most amazing job ever. Uh, most of you watching me are resellers. If you're a reseller and you love your job, comment below. I love my job. All right. This first item is an Ertl My First Luke Loader Diecast Rolling Figure. It's a push toy. And a lot of you watching, you might have kids. You may be able to source in your house some of the things that I sell. I actually got this at the Goodwill bins and uh, cost of goods was less than a dollar. And I sold this for $7.80 plus shipping. But a lot of the items that I pick up at the bins are toys and you may have them lurking in your home. The next item is this Chuck E. Cheese advertising ball. Anytime I see something Chuck E. Cheese, I pick it up. It is collectible. People will buy it. I got this out of a thrift store mystery toy box and cost of goods was probably a dollar or less. I took a best offer of $25 plus shipping on this. The next item I picked up at a garage sale for 50 cents. I have sold this before. It's some game, Ele Elementus. I don't even know what it is, but it was 50 cents. I knew it was a major bread and butter, but again, I had already sold it once. So I figured I might as well pick it up and sell it again. And that's what I did. 50 cents into $7 and 80 cents plus shipping. The next item, would you believe it? You've heard of people selling adult shoes, like a single shoe. You guys, this is one single shoe from an American girl doll. And I sold it for $7.80 plus shipping. So can it be done? It can be done. You can sell single doll shoes. Oh my goodness. And it sold super fast. I sold it for $7.80 plus shipping. The next item also came from the Goodwill bins. This is a vintage Z Toys Ferrari. It's a car from Hong Kong. It's incomplete. Condition wasn't that great. But I had to pick it up because it was vintage and there was no way I was letting that go to the landfill. I sold this for $11 plus shipping. The next item also came from the Goodwill bins. And this is a Daniel Tiger neighborhood cell phone. And I sold this for a best offer of $14 plus shipping. I also included a video in my description to show how that works. And that video is actually performing pretty well over on my reseller testing Bolo products channel. This next item are the Vintage Fisher-Price Precious Places Baby Nursery Cottage Miscellaneous Parts Lot of Four. I did a video over on my Sourcing with Bolo Buddies YouTube channel. It's linked down below of the Precious Places um, lot that I got. I got it. It came in a box. I thought it was all a complete set. It was not. So I parted it out. I've only sold two or three items out of it so far but I think I paid a dollar for the entire box and it is definitely going to be turned into a big money bolo by the time I'm done selling everything. So go over and check out that video about how I parted this out. Um, here it is. This is what it looks like. It says maximize profits, how to part out precious places play set. Okay. And again, there was more than just the one play set. Uh, this is my other channel, Used Candle Cells for 125 So there are different types of videos. I do a lot of my unboxings over there, um, but definitely go check it out. This is my sourcing with Bolo Buddies YouTube channel. All right, let's look at this right here. This also came from the Goodwill bins. I pay $1.89 a pound. I have tons of videos of me actually digging through the bins and sourcing. If you want to see how I do it, I do a voiceover. I tell you what I pick up and why. I also pop up screen shares of how I list the items. So if this looks familiar to you, it was probably already in one of my Goodwill bins videos as a listing that I listed and now it's sold. 
I sold this bunny for $9.30 plus shipping. It is the Goodnight Moon plush bunny in pajamas. It is a stuffed animal. This also came from the Goodwill bins. I thought it was super cute. It's a Disney baby Minnie Mouse ears. It's like a swim hat, a sun hat to protect um, the, the neck. Here's the neck area. Let me see. Um, yeah, it looks like that. And I sold this for $15. The buyer was all in for $22.87 with tax and shipping. This item came from a garage sale. It is Hoppy Vander Hair. Um, it's a plush. I usually pick up this brand. It usually is bread and butter, but hey, you never know, right? I thought the little skeleton outfit was cute and it actually sold higher than I expected. It sold for $31 plus shipping. This right here came out of a uh, mystery box that a viewer sent me. Um, this came from Lisa and I have an unboxing video on my channel. I don't know which video is gonna post first, but this one actually had the Twiggy tag in it. Um, so it had condition issues, but I was like, you know what? It's got that tag. It's from 1967. I'm going to put this up for auction. I sold this for $14.99 plus shipping with the condition issues. This next item, these are Lang recipe album refill pages. I got these. I don't know where I got these. I can't remember. So, um, I don't know, but I had five of them total, but for this one, Somebody bought three of them and they paid $31.62. They were all in for $35.68. Anytime I can find new old stock like recipes or uh, like these real refill pages for books, I pick them up. They sell. People are looking for them. This one right here is a Folk Monus frog puppet. It's got a movable mouth and four legs plush. It is super, super cute. Um, I got this at a garage sale for a dollar and I sold this for $13 and 64 cents plus ship shipping. I always, always, always pick up folk monus. Love it. This one is a wildlife artist, realistic sea turtle. And I recently did a video on realistic plush to be on the lookout for. And I got this at the Goodwill bins and I sold it for $12 and 40 cents plus shipping. These are Disney's Monsters, Inc. toy figures. There's seven of them here. This did take a little while to sell. A lot of times I will put cake toppers in my title, uh, usually when they have the base on them. But even if they don't, people can use them as cake toppers. It's just a, a good keyword that parents will search when they're making cakes for their kids. Um, and then the kids can take it off the cake and, you know, play with them, I guess. But uh, I got these at a garage sale for a buck and I sold these for a best offer of $11 plus shipping. This one came from the Goodwill bins. I'm not sure if this was a great buy or not. I knew that it functioned and I wanted to do a video on my channel, uh, reseller testing Bolo products. So I went ahead and picked this up. It was heavy. So this might've cost me around seven bucks, maybe eight, $1.89 a pound. I mean, it was heavy. But um, if you see these, they, they do okay. I sold this for $31 plus shipping. It did take a little while to sell, but this thing is super cool. It like talks and dances and it's actually pretty incredible. You should definitely go check out that video over on my reseller testing Bolo products. I'll link it down below the, the channel. Uh, but some of these toys are just, they're so fun. This one is a vintage Halloween honeycomb ghost and orange ball. I pick up anything honeycomb. Honeycomb is this right here. Um, see how this ball opens up. So it folds open into a honeycomb shape, I guess is what I would call it. Got this out of a thrift store mystery box and sold it for a best offer of $10 plus shipping. These here are Hatchimals. They came from a garage sale. I paid a dollar each for these. Um, I put these together and I called them twins. And I think that helped me sell this item. Uh, these are the Peacat. <laughs> and I sold these for a best offer of $20 plus shipping. Most of the time, um, I believe these are surprise toys where you open an egg and you're not sure what you're going to get. So a lot of times these people want to buy these new because they want that surprise element. Uh, they're, <clears throat> excuse me. They are a harder to sell item, I think, but I don't know. Let me know what your experience is in the, in the comments. I don't pick these up very often, but I figured there were two of them and I could call them twins. And I that might help me in selling them. And I think it did. The next item is this vintage Kurt Adler ornament. It's new old stock. I got this at a garage sale for 10 cents, sold it for 16 plus shipping. This is a, <clears throat> excuse me, 
uh, Transformers Rescue Bots flatbed truck. Um, I always pick up these Transformer Rescue Bots. I do um, a little video over on my reseller testing products channel. Link it in the description. Not needed. Most people know how to do these. These are really, really easy. But um, growing that channel over there. So uh, people search how toys work. So that's what I do. I put them over there. Uh, 50 cents off of Facebook Marketplace. Sold it for $12.40 plus shipping. This here, I got it at a garage sale for five bucks. It's Mickey's Christmas Carol figures, Mickey Mini Disney Store Special Edition. I took a best offer. Of, nope, I'm sorry. I sold this for my sale price of $31 plus shipping. This is another one of the Wendell August switch cover plates. Um, I did a whole video on these. These have been selling like hotcakes. Definitely, if you see this Wendell August brand, look it up. Um, I sold this uh, for $28 plus shipping, and I got it at a garage sale for about a dollar. Creative memory scrapbooking items in general. Oh, my goodness. I have done so well with this brand, um, especially the refill pages. The punches, uh, I'm doing okay with them, but the refill pages, oh, my goodness. If you find them, pick them up. They sell great. Um, I ended up selling this for $9.30 plus shipping. It's the star shape. It's got two sizes. Um, this came out of that creative memories lot that I got at that garage sale. I have footage of that. It was, oh my goodness, just an amazing buy. I didn't know how good it was until I started comping the stuff out and just how quickly the creative memories items were selling for me. It was just incredible. This here was something that my husband had in the donate pile. And I was like, you know what? I think that's really cute. I hate breakables, but I think I can sell this. It's a vintage vanity set trinket tray floral. Probably could have had better keywords um, in the title, but didn't know anything about it. Just wanted to take a chance and it sold. It took a long time to sell. But again, I think if I would have had better keywords, it would have done better. So for those of you that sell items like this, go ahead and in the comments, give me some keywords that you would have put in the title for this. Um, and that'll help everybody learn. I sold this for $20 and the buyer paid shipping. These little hummingbirds, um, they are pierced earrings. I got these at a church sale for 50 cents and I sold these for $26 plus shipping and they are fantastic. This is a vintage Halloween die cut decorations. These were not marked. They actually had, um, I think, a lot of issues. Uh, I don't know if these were used in a classroom, but you can see the marker on them. They weren't in great shape at all. I sold these for $17 plus shipping. They came out of a thrift store mystery box. This is a vintage candle Christmas tree. It's gold. Uh, it's green with gold glitter. I got this from a thrift store for $1 and I sold it for a best offer of $10 plus shipping. These right here are these vintage ceramic Halloween pump it, pumpkin anthropomorphic. I always say that wrong. Anthropomorphic. I don't know. It means they have a face, <laughs> but they're happy and sad. Somebody wanted me to part these out. And I'm like, no, because if I part it out, then I'm going to have to like create a new listing. And I just, I feel like when I part things out for people, sometimes they don't buy it and it just creates more work for me. So let me know in the comments, if somebody asks you to part something out, do you do it or do you say no? In this case, I said no. I ended up selling this for $30 plus shipping and I got it at a thrift store for $1. The next item came from that estate clean out. Um, I got a whole bunch of uh, crafting items from that sale. And when I say crafting items, it was like cross stitch and lots of stuff like that. I decided to put all of these together in a lot and put them up for auction. They did sell for my auction start price. I usually start my auctions at the minimum I want to get for the item. If it does not sell, then I relist it at a buy it now with best offer. That's just my method. I don't start my auctions at 99 cents unless maybe over on whatnot. I might start something at a dollar sometimes. So um, follow me over on whatnot. Uh, Bolo Buddies, there's a link down below. Um, you can get $15 to shop if you join with my link. It's a referral link. So you get that bonus $15 to shop. You don't have to spend it in my, on my show. Um, but yeah, check me out over there. If you guys are already on whatnot, let me know how you're doing. Um, let me know what your, uh, link is or your, um, handle or whatever you call it on whatnot, put it down in the comments so everybody can follow you. All right. So, so this for $24.99 plus shipping. 
All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. Um, appreciate you taking time out of your day to watch and learn. Um, let me know in the comments, if you've been watching my channel for a while, I've been kind of trying to switch things up, but also trying to keep the old, but adding some new. Let me know in the comments, what is your favorite type of video that I do? I would love to hear from you guys. Um, again, if you're new, I'd love for you to subscribe. If you've been here a while, thanks for coming back and make sure you're still subscribed. And thanks for watching.